again, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce the Pennsylvania AFL-CIO President, Billy Jordan. <laughs> Thank Jack and his committee that's here, uh, Brother Vinsky, uh, Joe Delaney was here, the local ATU 85 here that helped us with the bus. They stole the bus out of Harrisburg and, and, uh, and they cheated five tolls. The state police are waiting to pick these guys up over here. And, and they said, it's good to be home. What time is it? Union time! that you know the Chamber of Commerce is meeting upstairs in that 12th floor up there. We're going to let them know we're here. What time is it? Union time! All right. And it's our time, it's people's time, and it's freedom time. I've got a lot of comments to make, but we do have some really, really great distinguished guests. We have another House member from the, from the Congress in Delaware County, and our inspector himself will be here. We have Fred Redman from the International Union of the Steelworkers, some of our Superior Court Justices here. So everybody's interested for one reason, because they understand in the state of Pennsylvania that if anybody gets elected, they got to come through organized labor. southeastern part of the state, an individual that said it couldn't be done in the uh, 7th Congressional District, uh, Delaware County, a person that took on a senior, senior ranking House member named Weldon. They used to be a little bit of our friends, but he got a little bit close to Georgie Bush too much, and he kind of got a little bit of, his hair kind of got messed up, Weldon. And so when, when Congressman Sestak was done with him, he didn't have no hair. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you Congressman Sestak. Thank you so much for joining us.